Okay, so um, you can also adjust the thickness of your stroke. So right now I have a pink square with a yellow, yellow stroke selected and I can increase the stroke to 30, which makes it really thick. Um, I can change the style of the stroke to um, thick and thick, thick and thin, dashed, whoa, those are big dashes. If I, if I bring it down, it looks better. Um, these like left slants, there's all different choices. Wavy. Um, I can also, if I want to toggle back and forth between um, the stroke and the fill colors, I can switch them with this little bent arrow over in the toolbar that hovers like on the right top corner um, above the stroke and fill. So switch, switch. And what else? What else can I do? Switch these guys. Oh yes, and then um, I have to introduce you to the line tool because you'll need it to do your homework. So the line tool is right under the type tool and it looks like a little backslash. And if you just click and drag, you can create lines, okay? And they also have strokes, they come with strokes. You can um, change the thickness and the color exactly the same way. So I can make it thicker, I can change the color to pink. Um, I can get, oh uh, no, I can't do that. Okay, I can get rid of it, I can say no strokes, so it's like invisible, whoops. And, yeah. Also, if I want to draw a line that's perfectly straight, then I all I have to do is hold shift, just like when I'm making a perfect square. So then it goes um, either 90 degrees or 180. So perfect right degree angles. Oh, and there's a 45. So yeah, I can make 45 degree angle lines. When I hold shift, I'm just holding shift. I haven't let go. I'm just drawing lines while holding shift. Pretty cool. Another tool I want to show you is the direct selection tool, which is right under the selection tool. So the selection tool is black. It's a black arrow. And then the direct selection tool is a white arrow. So if I click on the white arrow, the direct selection tool, my object changes the way it looks a little bit. Um, I'm going to I can click, let me zoom in. I'm using control plus to zoom in. Um, control minus to zoom out. I highly recommend it than bothering with the magnifying glass, which does the same thing. Control plus, and I don't know if you guys can see, but there's these little, little dots. And um, let me see, if there's a scroll bar on on the side here so I can move around and zoom in again scroll up scroll 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 and there's a little dot now if I click away it deselects and if I click on the dot then what I can do with my direct selection tool is move that dot I can't do that with my um, selection tool if I grab my selection tool and I click on the object, it moves the whole object, but I can't move one point in the object. For example, let me show you another shape. So if I grab my white arrow, my direct selection tool, and I go over to this rectangle here, I can move one of the corners of the rectangle and change the shape of the rectangle like so. And now my text doesn't really fit anymore. That's okay. Okay, last but not least, I want to show you one more tool, the hand tool. Okay, so the hand tool, if you grab it, and then you click anywhere on the screen and drag, you can move your paper around as if your, your document, as if it was a paper on your desktop. So for example, when I'm really zoomed in, Again, that was controller command plus, 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 or controller command minus, minus, minus. So I'm holding control and then pressing plus or minus, or command. Uh, in my case, command. I'm just used to saying control because they usually teach on a PC.